varsity player, 2019 Coaches Award for Outstanding Player and an Inside Lacrosse All-Star, Innovation Scholarship Award winner and finalist for the National ROTC Scholarship, Spike White Award winner for Character and exemplifying what is called I Am Third, God First, Other Second, I Am Third. He's also a four-year German student and German club member, junior Olympic gold medalist in Taekwondo. Most memorable moment? Traveling with his teammates, friends, and family, making lifelong friends and memories. When asked what Mitchell would like to say to his folks, he said, I want to thank my parents for giving me the opportunity to play lacrosse, travel the country, and play with awesome teammates. Number 33, Mitchell Callahan. Coaches, please come stand by the players for one final photo. See her? She didn't photos. <clears throat> Congratulations to our 2022 graduating seniors. One last big round of applause for the seniors and their parents. Thank you for making the Westlake High School Lacrosse Program what it is today. Best of luck, seniors, to you and your next big adventure. Go, Shaps! Good evening, Westlake Nation. This is Westlake Lacrosse. Welcome to Chaparral Stadium at Westlake High School. This evening, the 6 and 2 Westlake Chaparrales take on their crosstown rivals, the Cavaliers from Lake Travis. My name is Ken Fiji with Westlake Lacrosse. Joining me in the booth is Ava Howard. Welcome, Ava. Today's broadcast is presented by Vipe Media. Let's welcome in our producer for today's game, Ashley Battero, and on the camera, Nathan Albin. So we just got to celebrate these 12 fantastic Westlake seniors. Uh, we have everything on tape, so tomorrow, uh, We'll send out the, or we'll have the tape available if you want to see your senior and uh, see the actual presentation. Well, let's talk a little bit about the game today. I got a chance to talk to both coaches, uh, Coach Zach Burke for Westlake and Derek D. Joe from Lake Travis, you know, Westlake coming in on a six game winning streak, uh, really outscoring their opponents 97 to 23 over the last six games. First two games of the season, played IMG, lost both, the, both those games, but it was a really good test for this uh, 2022 Westlake team. Uh, Lake Travis coming in at two and five Played three Dallas teams, South Lake, Dallas Jesuit, St. Mark's. Uh, really tough games, so they are tested. But I think today's game is going to be really the, the goalies and the faceoff. Uh, Eric Bain for Westlake going against two very young faceoff players for Lake Travis. So let's talk a little bit about the starting lineup for Westlake. In goal, senior number 13, Hayden Kern. As we heard early, he's committed to D3 Middlebury. On defense, you have number two, senior Patrick Nelson. Number seven, ju junior Brett Mays. Number 10, junior Theo Procise. 
Also, number 12, Luke Fournier, will see a lot of action on man down as the fourth defenseman. Again, a very disciplined defensive unit. They really don't make any mistakes. I see this as a very low scoring or, or giving up very few goals for Westlake. At LSM, you have number 13, Captain Carter Barksdale. Again, committed to Michigan in the fall. Short stick midi, you're going to have number 22, sophomore Ty Ingram Eisner. And for Westlake at the faceoff, you have number six, senior Eric Baines. Baines coming in with close to a 65% win percentage. Again, I, I think he's going up against two very young faceoff players for Lake Travis. So see him, uh, look for him to win majority of those faceoffs. First line midfield for Westlake. You have number 17, junior Jarrett Pazette. Number one, senior Misha Trupo. And number 11, Gage Frickenschmidt. Westlake have, has a very strong second midfield line with Hamlin, Wright, and Stichner. And then on attack for Westlake, you have number four, senior. Ethan Burke, number eight, senior, Andrew Ortega, and number 21, junior, Bradley Mays. Burke, as we all know, probably the best player in Texas. Again, he chose to play football at uh, University of Texas. Uh, I think he, he, he really wants to make this season count and, and see if they can he can take uh, Westlake to a uh, state championship. Captains for Westlake, Ethan Burke, Nelson, Barksdale, and Horton. Let's move over to Lake Travis. Lake Travis, a very young team. They're they have uh, quite a few injuries, especially on face-off. They had to bring up a few players from the JV team. So a little bit of inexperience for Lake Travis. So goalie, number eight, junior Julian Garcia on defense. Number two, junior Caden Bender. Caden's uh, a, a big defenseman. I see him uh, on Burke for most of the game. Number four, junior Jace White. Number 22, junior Michael Slot. Uh, Slot again, a really big kid, so you, you may see him on Burke uh, for part of the game as well. Again, a very young team. Uh, LSM number 21, Luke Adler. Really good pole. Uh, probably the best long stick midi for Lake Travis and one of their captains. Then at face-off, you have number 32, a freshman, Peyton Kirby. And number 30, a sophomore, Owen Calbert. Uh, Owen coming up from the, the JV squad, so they're going to try and tag team uh, against Baines. Midfield, you have senior captain, Reeve Kolonek. Number two, junior, Blake Morton. And number 10, senior Caden Davis. He's probably their best midi. Uh, he's also a football player. He's a little banged up, so you, you may see him uh, on a few runs today. Uh, on attack, you're going to see different, different players. But I can see starting number 12, senior Jonah Rogers. Number 5, junior Nico Tyrant. And number 26, junior Blake Morton. So we've got four minutes until we start the action. Uh, Westlake warming up, Lake Travis warming up. Earlier today, the the Westlake JV team beat the JV team for Lake Travis uh, 13 to nothing. Game just ended a little while ago. Again, right after that game, we had a senior 
ceremony for these these 12 seniors for Westlake. Last night, Westlake played Dripping Springs. At halftime, game was seven to two, Westlake. Uh, Dripping gave gave Westlake uh, a really hard time, especially in the in the first quarter. Uh, they came out and they denied uh, Burke the ball, uh, but uh, you know the team was able to get past that. And in the third quarter, uh, Westlake scored eight goals and had the game out of reach. And uh, final score 17 to two. So everything's really clicking for this Westlake team. Uh, I think the, the the one thing this team has that they haven't had in previous years. They have two very good face-off players in uh, Horton and Baines, and they have outstanding goaltending uh, with Kern. And of course, they have a, a, a very potent offense and a, a very disciplined defense. So this this team is is set up for success. And I just I don't think they've they've peaked yet. They they have a big game next week against ESD, and they finish with two. Uh, division games uh, the end of April so hopefully they can they can play well in those those three to four games and move into the playoffs so again we have the senior ceremony uh, uh, taped so uh, take a look for the link and uh, you can see the entire ceremony All right, we're back. Ready to start this game.
Coach Burke in his fourth year had it here at Westlake. Uh, DeJoe, his first year, he's assisted by Brad Lott, Nick Weston, and John Wheeler. Uh, really young coaching staff, but uh, all with a lot of experience uh, coaching and playing. And I think the, the future is really bright uh, for this Lake Travis organization. They have a great youth program, and that's, that's really where it starts. And that's where they, these players develop to get to this level. Burke assisted by uh, Shipley, O'Connor, Nate Carter, and Atwater. Burke really brought in some, some young coaches that really uh, connect with these uh, high school players and I think it's made a big difference in the, the style of play and the the intensity uh, this Westlake team has. It's like Baines is ready to take the face off. Here we go. Baines with the first win of the night. Sophomore Owen Colbert for West uh, for Lake Travis. Westlake's just going to be patient with the ball. Just move the ball around. Probably going to try and dodge from the side. Flip over to Burke. Really good defense by Lake Travis. Stripping Burke. That's the start Lake Travis wanted. See what Westlake can do. I think Lake Travis is gonna come out and be really patient. They're not gonna try and force anything. Shot by Lake Travis. Westlake on the clear. Current with the ball. Like looking to clear. Was I looking to settle it down? The set with the ball behind to Burke.
West like to bring the ball in. Burke over to Ortega. Trupo. Trupo number one with the goal. Ready for a face-off. Eisner number 22 on the wing. Illegal motion by Lake Travis, West Lake Ball. Burke looking to dodge. Gives up the ball. Shot backed up by Westlake. Good ball moving by Westlake. Not trying to force anything. Another shot by Ortega. Solid defense by this Lake Travis team. Burke with the shot. Got 727 left in the first quarter. Westlake one. Cavaliers nothing. Like Travis looking to clear. Oh, Ortega hit the pipe. Ortega says it was a goal. Looks like it hit the pipe. Ball down, picked up by Westlake. Like with a hard time clearing the ball. Like Travis Ball. Again, this Lake Travis team, young. Some freshmen, sophomores. They don't have a lot of depth, so they're 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 playing really well in the beginning of this game.
shot. A little bit wide, backed up by Lake Travis. Rogers with the goal for Lake Travis. Game tied at one. 527 left in the first quarter. Baines back on the faceoff. Travis is really matching Westlake's. Really playing tough. Shot, goal, Ortega from the crease. Just want to get a shout out to all of our sponsors. Uh, Going to read off some of the uh, top sponsors for Westlake Lacrosse. At the All American level, we'd like to thank the Ortega family and the Patissi family. At the state level, we'd like to thank the Frank family, the Kern family, and the All and the Austin Learning Center, as well as the Wilkin family. At the NVP level, we'd like to thank the Royce family, the Batiste family, the Messerol family, and the Watkins Insurance Group, Hamlin family, the Fournier family, and Emily's Table, and Barksdale family. At the goal level, we'd like to thank the Mills family and Lori Mills Real Estate, the Ingermeiser family. All right, face off. Picked up by Westlake. Baines, check from behind. Against Lake Travis is matching the intensity of this Westlake team. Ortega moving it around. Burke up top. Trupo at the midfield line. Looking to set up the play. Ortega to Burke. Stripped. Little scrappy goal by Ortega, his second. 3.28 left in the first quarter. Westlake three, Lake Travis one. Uh, looks like Lake Travis moved again. Westlake just being patient with the ball. Save. Uh, 
Outstanding save by Garcia for Lake Travis. Lake Travis keeps pushing. Save by Kern. Kern, a two year starter for Westlake. All state last year. Pull up top, a little sloppy. up top with the ball. Drops it off to Trupo. Saved by Garcia. stoppage here. Sort of man down situation for Lake Travis. Trupo with a shot, a little bit high. Burke brings it in. Shot! Go! That puts Westlake up four to one with under a minute left in this first quarter. Baines at the face off line again. Perfect tonight. I jinxed him. LT looking to clear the ball. Good defense by Westlake. Westlake ball. Another goal by Westlake. Frickin' Smith with the goal.
17 seconds left in the first quarter. Baines with the win. Good look. Shot saved by Garcia. Oh, another save. Five one end of the first quarter. Sponsors and volunteers. You know, the whole program is made up of volunteers and and sponsors to put these games on. Ready to start the second quarter. Five one Westlake. I think Lake Travis came out really, really strong. Matched the intensity of, of Westlake. But now you're seeing the, the talent of Westlake just taking over. There's, just, there's, there's too many good players for Westlake. Calbert and Baines. Facing off. Baines with a clean win. Baines with a face off win was like possession and clear. Like Travis has been able to shut down Burke. Uh, I don't think for long. Again, even if he doesn't score, they have, Westlake have, has so many goal scorers on this team. Burke with the shot. A little bit wide. Ortega, Ortega back to Burke. Great ball movement. Back behind with Burke. Like Travis in the zone. Looking to shut down this offense. Shot! Off the post. Takes the ball behind the cage, looking up top. Finds Ortega. Back to Burke. Shot. A little bit wide. Still Westlake ball. Westlake 
Looks like another stoppage in play. Got a little note here to give a shout out to Grandma Cher. Uh, I think it's her 78th birthday and she never misses a game. So congratulations, Grandma. Texas, Dallas Jesuit playing the Episcopal School of, of Dallas. It's going on right now. That's the number one and number two team in Texas. Burke up top, looking to feed. Back to Burke. Really crisp ball movement. Looks like a moving pick. Ball back to Lake Travis. Good clear by Lake Travis. Nine minutes left in the first half. Westlake five, like Travis one. Travis being really patient with the ball. Again, not trying to force anything. A little sloppy. Regain possession. Shot, save, Kern. Again, the combination of great goaltending by Kern, great face-off by Westlake, something they've never really had. Shot, hits the post. Bassett hitting the post. So Westlake is really set up for A lot of success for the rest of the season if, if they can stay healthy. Again, they've never had two top tier Fogos on the team. This is a big advantage. Again, another save by Kern. Current playing at just a very high level. The six games, the past six games, uh, the average has been less than four goals a game. Right, he's going to be a big key as they, they move towards the playoffs. 
Another goal by Westlake. Bradley Mays, number 21, with the goal. Wins it. Shot. A little bit wide. It's so key to win these face-offs to gain the advantage on possessions. When you have that good goaltending and face-offs, you can just out-possession the other team. Shot a little bit wide. To set up top, back to Burke. Tega brings that out. Garcia's hanging in there, playing really well. Another moving pick by Westlake. Lake Travis ball. like a timeout by Lake Travis. Let's take a moment and thank some more, some more of our sponsors. Ava? Goal level, we'd like to thank the Tarlington family, the Trungale family, and the Baines family. At the assist level, we'd like to thank Jennifer Sloan, Lev the Levane family, the Hagen family, Trey Phillips, real estate broker, and the Horton family. At the man up level, we'd like to thank the Quay family, the Bray Fogel family, and the Robshaw family. And our meal sponsors are Texas Honey Ham, Mary's Gourmet Pizza, Hat Creek Burger Company, Cabo Bob's, and Fratelli's Pizza. Thank you. Thank you, Ava. So we have a little, little bit of, a little more than five minutes left in the first half. West Lake six, Lake Travis one. You know, when I got a chance to talk to Coach Burke, you know, he told me a little bit about the team and and what's the difference between this team and and years prior. And, and something that was interesting, he said the team chemistry is back. And, and what he meant by that is the last two years, the, the, they, he couldn't have team chem chemistry because they, they didn't have bus rides together. They didn't have team dinners together. Uh, some of these kids didn't see each other for six to eight months. And that is just so important to spend a lot of time together as a team. And you know, this year it, it's 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 just starting to develop, and as they get further along in the season, they're spending more and more time together uh, when they're allowed to, uh, you know, spend time in groups. So he's saying that the chemistry is is really building. 
Old Lake Travis with a quick goal. They, they caught Westlake napping a little bit. Six to two, Westlake. Got to hand it to uh, Coach DeJoe. He's, he's got this team playing hard. Again, a young team, not a lot of depth, a lot of injuries. You know, having a tough time on face-offs. Second, second face-off they won. I mean, they're, they're playing Westlake really hard. You know, it's a very similar game to the game against Stripping last night. Uh, end of the half it was seven to two Westlake, but Dripping played played really hard. But third quarter Westlake came out and just scored eight goals uh, very quickly. So okay. another goal by Lake Travis. I think we need a timeout. That's two quick goals for Lake Travis. A little over four minutes left, six to two, Westlake. Westlake with another win. Nice outlet pass by Kern. Ortega, the ball behind. Now Lake Travis is back to shutting off Burke. So now it's a five on five game. Top. He feeds shot a little bit wide. Chupo up top. He shoots. He scores. Chupo with a snipe and goal. Trupo with second goal of the night. He's a big, strong, fast kid. He's he's extremely hard to guard. Westlake extends their lead to seven to three. Win by Lake Travis. Westlake with a great double. Takeaway by Westlake. Another save by Garcia. Shot just oh, good defense on the goalie. Picked up by Lake Travis. Nice Game's getting really physical now. Burke gets the loose ball. Shoots. Save. Garcia with another save. Garcia. 
nice clear. Under two in the first half. Seven to three, Westlake. Good defense. Westlake looking to clear. is a little bit high. Blake Travis ball. Under a minute left in the first half. Blake Travis looking for another shot to end the first half. Shot! Side of the net. Good defense, Westlake. Blake Travis ball. 21 seconds left. It's like another timeout with 19 seconds left in the first half. Again, if you missed the senior presentation before the game that has been taped, uh, check for the link tomorrow. You can catch all the all 12 seniors being recognized. Well, it's a beautiful night here in Austin. Beautiful night for lacrosse. Travis Ball with 19 seconds left in the first half. Now, if anybody has any questions, any comments on the broadcast, please DM me at Ken underscore Fidji, and that's F I D J E O 3. Again, any questions? You have a a Westlake alumni you wanna, wanna recognize, just send me a note. Got six seconds left. Click flag down. End of the first half, Westlake seven, Lake Travis three. Very, very tough first half. We're going to take a little bit of a break. We'll be right back.
Okay, we're back. We'll get the second half started in about two minutes. I'd like to go through and talk a little bit about Westlake's alumni. Do a few shout outs here. Uh, first one, KJ Adams, 2021 graduate played short stick midi for this Westlake team. Also played on the Westlake basketball team. Uh, he went to Kansas. Kansas is in the final four of the NCAA tournament. Uh, KJ is getting a lot of playing time. You can watch them tomorrow against Villanova. So good luck KJ and Kansas. Uh, Bryce Walker. He was a 2020 graduate. He's playing at Notre Dame, playing a little attack in midfield. Team made it to the Final Four last year and playing really well for the Fighting Irish. Keaton Jones, Bryant Bulldogs, senior. He's a starter at Short Stick Midi. Jacob Stebner. Jacob went to Princeton, graduated in uh, 2000, 2019. He's a junior, getting some playing time for the Princeton Tigers. If you want one of your alumni a, a shout out during one of these broadcasts, please DM me at Ken, K-E-N underscore Fidji, F-I-D-J-E-0-3. Love to hear about uh, what these kids are doing. There's a lot of fantastic athletes coming out of uh, Westlake High School, and they're they're all over the place. So please let us know. We'd love to hear about it. Okay, we're getting ready for the second half. The playoff format is a little different this year where there's two divisions for uh, varsity. There's the AA division, which is the first or the top eight seeds. Uh, they play on at the end of April, and then they have the final four and final game on Mother's Day weekend here in Austin. We haven't, we haven't uh, found the stadium that they're gonna play in, but uh, it will be in Austin. And then we have the A division, which is seated uh, the seats nine through 24. We're back to the action. Westlake ball. Again, I think Westlake's gonna come out really hot in this third quarter. Shot by Burke, a little bit wide. Burke has been scoreless this game. Blake Travis doing a really good job shutting him off. And, but again, he'll, he'll get his opportunities. Another save by Garcia. Like Travis looking to clear. Get Westlake with two games back to back. Could be a little tired. Late night tonight. Ooh, looks like a push from behind. Ref's gonna let it go. Like Travis playing aggressive lacrosse.
Shot a little bit wide. Backed up by... Backed up by Kern. Great heads up play by Kern. Solid clear by Kern and the defense for Westlake. Another save by Garcia. Westlake having a really hard time getting the ball past Garcia. I think that zone is is working pretty well for Lake Travis. Looks like a flag on Westlake. Another save by Kern. Ball goes back to Lake Travis. Westlake will be man down. Looks like Fournier is in for Westlake. First man up opportunity for Lake Travis. Let's see what they can do. Here we go. Really good pressure by Westlake's defense. Shot. Kern with the save. That's, that's the shot you want to give up if you're a man down. A little sloppy play by Westlake. Fast break by Lake Travis. Shot! A little bit wide. Backed up by Kern. Trooper with a shot, saved by Garcia. Game's getting a little physical by both teams.
Ball going back to Lake Travis. There's a little frustration on the Westlake side. Shot, a little bit wide, backed up by Lake Travis. Another shot, a little bit wide. Westlake at full strength. Now they're at full strength. Six on six. Six twenty-five left in the third quarter. Westlake seven. Like Travis, three. Shot save. Kern with another big save. Shot a little bit wide. Another shot by Lake Travis, a little bit wide, backed up by Lake Travis. Good check. Oh, another save. Kern with a big save. Like I was saying, as, as Westlake goes further in the playoffs, Kern will be big, really important, and face-offs. Get those possessions. Like Kern just gave the Westlake offense another possession by, by making that save. Ball up top with Burke, he shoots, a little bit wide. Oh, another save by Garcia. Looks like the, sh the clock has stopped. Garcia with another big save. Oh, another flag down. Looks like a push on Westlake.
under four minutes left in the third quarter. Rogers number 12. Like Travis came to play today. Baines needs this face off. There we go. Nice clean face off. Westlake looking for opportunities to break this zone by Lake Travis. Shot. Best way to beat this zone, just keep moving the ball. Eventually you'll find that open man. There we go. Shot by Ortega. Good defense by Lake Travis. Westlake getting having a really hard time with the zone. Shot saved by Kern. That was tipped by Lake Travis. No, nope. ball's going back to LT. Oh, he stepped out of bounds. Good defensive play by Burke. to Burke. Ball's back in Lake Travis's zone, looking to settle it down. Under 35 seconds left. In the first quarter, Westlake seven, Lake Travis four. Twenty seconds left. Ten seconds left. Shot a little bit wide. Shot, 
End of the third quarter. West like seven. Like Travis four. Summarize the game. Garcia for Lake Travis. Outstanding play. Kern for Westlake. Also outstanding play. Offense a little bit sloppy on each side. Tough zone defense by Lake Travis. Disciplined defense by Westlake. Let's see what happens in the fourth quarter. Like Travis has been hanging tough in faceoffs. Baines winning 60 to 70 percent of them still. Out there already, ready to get started. One quarter left. I think the first and second quarter, Westlake won those quarters. Third quarter, I think Lake Travis won. Good win by LT. Another shot wide, backed up by Lake Travis. Again, Lake Travis, they're going to be patient with the ball. They're not going to try and force anything. Every possession is so important. Westlake with tough defense. So a shot clock violation. The, the offense has only a certain amount of time to put a shot on goal. Barksdale to Eisner. I think that was needed by these chaparrales. Had a little bit of a drought, gold drought. Yeah, good win by Baines. There you go. Quickly, look 
for that open man. Shot. Trupo, a little bit wide. Trupo with three goals on the night. Burke looking to feed. Looks like a penalty on Lake Travis. It's like a timeout. Westlake timeout. Again, if anybody has any alumni updates, love to hear them. DM me. Ken underscore Fiji 03. Like to mention it on the air. Our next broadcast, April 15th against Vandegrift, 8 o'clock start time. They'll be here at the stadium. 9.29 left in the game, Westlake 8, Lake Travis 4. Westlake will be man up. So Lake Travis is staying in a zone, and, the, and a zone is a, a, a style of defense where each defender has a little box where they need to stay on any any offensive player that comes in, that's their man, as opposed to a man-to-man -man where they run around chasing the same man. And so far, that type of defense has been, been working for Lake Travis. Again, it really slows up the game. You know, that was the, that's the way to beat a zone, it's, it's quick passes like that. But they have to be executed. Westlake with the clear. Trupo up top. Back to Mays. Trupo. Be looking for those cutters. There we go. Oh, save! Garcia with another save. Great check by Trupo. Garcia is, is keeping this West this Lake Travis team in this game. At least half a dozen excellent saves. Shot. Save in the crease. Lake Travis in the crease. Good 
good defense. Like Travis. Ball thrown away by Westlake. A clear violation on Lake Travis. Trying to force it picked up by Garcia. Six and a half left in the game. Burke picks it up. Under six minutes left in the game. Shot by Burke, a little bit high. It's like a timeout. Terrific showing by Lake Travis timeout. Again, terrific showing by Lake Travis. Coach to Joe really had these boys ready to play. I think he was uh, undermatched, had a lot of young kids, uh, a lot of injuries, but he came out and they just, they never gave up. Eight to four, five and a half left in the game. The Joe, a native, uh, New Yorker from upstate New York played his ball at Syracuse University. He was you know, start at, at Syracuse. Came here to Austin. He was very involved with the youth program for Lake Travis. And when the opportunity came up for a head coach coaching job here at Lake Travis, I think he was the the obvious pick and doing a great job with this young team. Brought in some terrific assistance. So hats off to him. Trupo. Trupo with number four on the night. Assisted by Burke. Nine for Westlake.
It was offsides by Westlake, Lake Travis Ball. That'll be LT Ball off the base. Oh, ball picked off by Kern. Kern, an All-State player last year. Playing even better this year. Great ball movement for Westlake. Shot by Burke. Trupo shot goal. Trupo again, turn around up the middle for the score. Trupo number five on the night. Again, he's he's tough to stop from up top. Westlake extend the lead to 10 to 4. 3:41 left to play in the in the game. Baines with a clean face-off face win. Ball blocked. Good outlet pass. Two and a half left to play in the game. Good defense. Stifling defense by Westlake. Ball picked up by Lake Travis. Oh, good defense by Westlake. Oh, good cut. Under a minute and a half left in the game. Got 41 seconds left in the shot clock. Oh, 
Good clear by LT. Shot a little bit wide. Got 45 seconds left. Okay, here we go. Shh. Shut. A little bit wide. A little bit high and wide. Oh, good defense. Westlake looking for one more. Oh, saved by Garcia. Got 10 seconds left in the game. That's it. Well, that's it for us today. Final score, Westlake 10. Lake Travis 4. Westlake moves to 7-2, 2-0 oh in district for the season. Lake Travis falls to 2-6 for the season. Next up for the Chaparrales and the undefeated and number two ranked team in Texas, the Episcopal School of Dallas. Game time, 3 o'clock at West Ridge Middle School. So producing today with Vipe Media, I want to thank Ashley Battero and Nathan Albin running the camera. Again, this is Ken Fiji with Westlake Lacrosse. Have a great evening and a wonderful weekend. Thank you.